What's up, guys? How are you? Welcome into a Saturday morning episode of the Daily Juice podcast with me, Matt Peralta at Sports Talk. Matt, to follow me on Twitter, this podcast is always being brought to you by our friends at OmahaSteaks.com. The Father's Day specials they got going on right now, $30 off with the promo code JUICE for a qualifying order. More on those guys here in just one second. One oh in one yesterday, if you bet the money line, sorry, the run line for the Marlins, you went 2-0-1. That's what I went. Red Sox got rained out, so that is a wash, literally. And then we got the push eight. We got a good number. Closed at seven and a half. Got the eight. Got the push on the Astros winning the game 6-2 to two last night. So against the Angels. So 2-0-1 unofficially. Officially 1-0-1. So we're up 1.09 units because the Rockies came through and won that game on the money line. We got that right. All the steam came on the Royals. I don't know. Congratulations. I disagree with it, but it's been a good couple of weeks. We've had a good three-week run here trying to complete our third consecutive winning week here on the Daily Juice. So no basketball today. We do have game one of the Stanley Cup Finals. Remember, I have the exacta on Florida over the Golden Knights at 48 to 48 and a half to one. I have a one unit bet, 1.3 unit bets here officially on the Golden Knights just to win it in a hedge situation. I'm going to be betting a lot more. I got to figure out whether I want to bet after game one or if the Knights win game one and lose game two. Do I bet it then? I, I'm not exactly positive when I'm going to do the big bet. I've got the 1.3 units in play already, but I'll have a big bet to hedge off of the 48 and a half to one at some point. For that reason, I don't have a play on the full game or a full total. I'm going to go back to a good old standby we've had a lot of success with here so far on the Daily Juice here for the hockey bet. And I got two baseball plays. If you are going to keep following the trend of fading the A's on the run line, it's now nine in five up 3.25 units. It's even money today. It was plus money yesterday. I got to factor that in actually. It was plus money. It was plus 105. So I guess we're up 3.3 units now on that. So it's been a fun experiment and we I've enjoyed it and even money now. So if this hits again, we go up by four, you know, 4.23 units on this. So we'll see. This is the series though. Four nothing win for the Marlins was pretty shocking. I thought two nothing we might need. We got four nothing. A's cannot score. Their offense is so bad. More on them here in just one second. But right now, Father's Day special is going on right now. OmahaStakes.com. When you go to their website, go check out everything they've got. They have a wide variety of amazing packages and curated things you can order for your dad, grandfather, for your uncle, your neighbor, the father figure in your life. It's all right there. Promo code JUICE gets you $30 off with a qualifying order. Minimum purchase may be required. Check the sites for details. But this Father's Day, go and shop OmahaStakes.com and all the wonderful things they've got available for you to be delivered directly, freeze f- into the freezer it goes, boxed up and beautiful, easy to do it. OmahaSteaks.com, promo code JUICE gets you $30 off a qualifying order this Father's Day. Also, let me tell you a little bit about the Betting Pros app. Have you downloaded the Betting Pros app yet? Why not? Download it for free. Apple iOS, or Android store. You can follow experts, top-rated bettors, and bettors on a hot streak to get instant notifications for when their bets are being placed. Customize your notifications by sport so you only receive alerts when for the bets that you're inter- you are interested in. You can even limit the alerts to get only historical ROI positive markets of the bettors you follow. Take advantage of these features and more by downloading the Betting Pros app by visiting bettingpros.com slash apps or by searching Betting Pros in the app store. Okay, let's start with hockey and we'll get into baseball next. Look, the Panthers have been off for a really long time. Sergio Bobrovsky has been unbelievable. He is the odds-on favorite to win the Conn Smythe. I don't think he's going to win it personally, okay? I think he's going to have a tough time. I had a friend of mine pull some numbers for the first period of Game 1 of the Stanley Cup Finals, going back as far as 2006. How many goals get scored in the first game of the Stanley Cup Finals? 
if you look at it and see when one team has been off for more than a week, the Panthers in this case, over one and a half goals has only happened three times. It's two and one. Only three times have we seen a team have a week off between playing the co- the conference finals into starting the Stanley Cup finals. Two and one since 2006. But if you look at just how the first period has gone when these two teams are matched up with each other, the over one and a half goals is nine and seven. We have Aiden Hill, who never thought in his wildest dreams this season when it began he would be playing in the cup finals. And we have the real possibility of a rusty Sergei Bobrovsky. I don't know who wins the game. I lean Vegas, but I want to watch this series. I want to watch how it's being called. I want to watch how Jack Eichel is going to play in his first ever cup finals. I want to watch how Vegas decides to guard and handle Matthew Kachuk. How physical will Vegas be? How many penalties is Vegas willing to take to go into the box? How's the PK for the for the Panthers? Can Vegas exploit that at all? How's the PK for Vegas? Game one's a big deal to me as to how this series is going to get played. It feels like a seven-game series. It feels like a toss-up, okay? I'm going to be on both sides, as I mentioned. I don't care who wins. It's more fun if Vegas wins because I'm here in Vegas. But officially, 1.1 units, minus 110, over one and a half goals in the first period. Sloppy play, mistakes, rusty goaltenders could lead towards some offense. I do actually lean towards the under for the game. 3-2 final. But I think it's a 1-1 score after one. I feel more confident on the first period than anything else. It's all I'm going to bet. Tied or one team up 2 to nothing after one. First period over one and a half goals for 1.1 units. Now, I want to go back to the Rockies and the Royals. I lean towards the Royals to win the game today, but I'm not laying minus 140 with the Royals. They suck. Rockies suck too, but I'm not doing that with the Royals. That's stupid, dumb. I think they do win the game, but I'm not interested in laying it. The total is nine and a half. I am interested in that, okay? KC at home is 15, 13, and one to the over. However, the Rockies are 19 and 10 to the under. On the road, nine runs got scored yesterday, so on under nine and a half, technically. As a road dog, which they are today, they are also 19 and 10 to the under. After a win, Colorado won yesterday. They're 15 and nine to the under after a win. After a loss, Kansas City is 18, 18 and two, literally flat. I think nine and a half is too many. I think. It's going to be 5-2, 5-3, somewhere in that range here. I don't think we see a 10-run game between both teams. I'm going to bet under 9.5 and minus 115, 1.15 units down. I lean towards the Royals to win the game, but I think we got decent enough pitchers to hold on here, to hold the rope a little bit and not have a complete ridiculousness. You know, 6 nothing is fine by me here, okay? Let the Royals score 6 and I mean, I don't mind Royals on the run line, but that's very scary given their record. We talked about the re- record yesterday. The Royals are now nine and twenty on the run line at home this year. So, oh wait, that was sorry, that was no, no. They're seven and twenty-three on the run line at home. That was the Marlins, seven and twenty-three, by the way, on that. So, yee. And then one more bet. This is by request because I am making the bet that I'm going to make every day until the middle of the month. I'm going to bet against the ace on the run line. I'm going to take the Marlins on the run line. It's even money, okay? But somebody said, when are you going to start to follow your own advice and bet team totals for the ace? The Oakland A's have scored over three runs. They've scored four runs one time going back all the way to May 16th. One time. Basically, when we started fading them, they scored 16, they've scored over Three and a half runs. At BetMGM at the time of taping, over, sorry, under three and a half runs was minus 125. That's too good, okay? You can un- you can lay under two and a half if you want and take plus money, but I'll be okay with this. I'm going to come in here and take under three and a half runs, team total, Oakland A's, officially. Un- I have an unofficial bet on even money on the run line for Miami, but 
under three and a half runs at minus 125 because Perez is going. This kid is making his fifth start of the year. A's have not seen this kid. This kid's been good. A 2.79 ERA at home, a 194 opposing batting average at home, and he's looked the part. Okay, he's 20, he's young, but he's looked the part. I think this kid shuts down the offense. I'll expect the bullpen to come in and do bullpen type things for the Marlins. Marlins very well might win a, a close scoring one run game again. I lean towards the Marlins to win again here, but it's the A's. So they're going to lose every game. <laughs> it's expensive to bet on the Marlins on the money line, but not on the run line. I will do it. I'm not expecting to hit this, to be quite honest. I think we'll start to lose these bets in this series. But for right now, I don't care because I'm going to take under three and a half runs, team total Oakland A's at minus 125. All right, three bets for us here. Let's have another good day, another winning day here on a Saturday. Over one and a half goals, first period, Vegas and Florida of the Stanley Cup Finals game one. Under nine and a half, minus 115 for the Rockies and the Royals. And we are going with under three and a half runs for the A's team total up against the Miami Marlins on the road at minus 125. Let's have a good Saturday. If I add anything, I'll let you know here. Bettingpros.com slash chat for the Discord channel. We've got basketball tomorrow. Let's keep the hot streak going with the NBA. My name is Matt Peralta. Follow me on Twitter at Sports Talk Matt every morning. The Daily Juice podcast being brought to you by OmahaSteaks.com.